This video will demonstrate how to convert geographic points in a CSV file to a shape file using QGIS. The data being used for this demonstration are storm event locations in the contiguous U.S. as recorded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration during January 2020. Geographic points from a CSV file can be converted to locations on a map. The coordinate values in the CSV file must be based on a real-world coordinate system, such as latitude-longitude or UTM meters. Let's take a quick look at the CSV file that will be used in this demonstration. We can see that uh, we have the data stored here in this CSV file. Uh, the coordinate system that we'll be using, uh, what we have here, are latitude and longitude coordinates. So that's what we'll be using to uh, convert these uh, coordinates to locations on the map. Now one thing to note, even though this CSV file is opened up in Microsoft Excel, it is indeed saved as a CSV file format. If the geographic points are saved in some type of table or a you know, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet file, meaning it's got an XLS or XLSX extension, that file must first be saved as a CSV file. So I'm gonna close uh, Excel here. And first thing we need to do is to import the CSV file. And so to do so, we'll wanna click on Open Data Source Manager from here, we want to select delimited text. At the top, we want to use the browse button to locate that CSV file. And here it is, so I'll highlight that and click open. Below that, we want to give the output layer, the, newly, uh, the new layer that's going to be created with point data, a name. So I'll leave it as storm events, but I'll change it to just Jan 2020. We want to make sure that under file format that CSV is selected and then we also want to make sure that we set the uh, coordinate reference system. So we can click on the select CRS button and we can choose the appropriate coordinate reference system. Now since this data was compiled recorded by the National Oceanic and it, uh, atmospheric administration they do use the national spatial reference system so this will be under a geographic coordinate system NAD 83 uh, NSRS 2007 and I'll click OK and then I can click on add and I'll close this uh, box and we can see the uh, points have appeared here on the map based on those latitude and longitude coordinates that were stored in the CSV file. Now I'm going to turn on this North America layer just to provide a little geographic context for the newly created point data. Now although we have this layer, this newly created layer giving us uh, this point data, what we need to do is to uh, convert this or save this as a shape file. In order to do so, we want to right click on the layer and go to export and then save features as. The format, uh, Esri shapefile is already populated in there. If something else appears for you, you can just click on this and use this drop down menu to select Esri shapefile. And then we want to give the file a name. So I will call this storm event points. Jan 2020. Here we also want to make sure that the uh, correct coordinate reference system that we want to use is selected. Here it's automatically populated. If it is, does not show, you'll want to collect, click on select CRS and uh, select the appropriate CRS. And from here we can click OK. Turn off the, um, the layer that was created uh, from importing that CSV file. 
And so what we're left with are these uh, storm event points. This is stored as a shape file. We can uh, double check that by going to the location where we would save this. So we go to our browser panel and I have saved this from the desktop and in a folder here. And if I just expand this out, we can see here is the shape file um, that I just saved. So if we go back to the uh, layers and just take a quick look at the attribute table, we can see here that um, all of that data that was stored in that CSV file is now in the attribute table for the um, both the layer as well as this shape file that we created.